Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I am back with another tech video. Now this is the 41st video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood a very important concept which is the instance configuration. So I've shown you how you can enable dark theme in your ServiceNow instance and also how you can update banner image and many more things, right? So if you missed that video, guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description. Also, you can find the link here on your screen right now. Go and watch the video and enable dark theme inside of your ServiceNow instance, right? So let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. All right, so today we are going to understand about another very important concept of service now, which is the notifications. So we will understand what is notification and how you can configure notification. What are the different types of notification? And at the end, very importantly, we will work with live use case, live scenario where there would be a scenario. And based on that, we will configure it inside of our personal developer instance right so make sure you watch the full video guys to understand each and every concept and you can practically implement this with me right so let's understand about the notification so what is notification so you'd say pritam we all know what is notification is right so every time when we have our mobile phone nowadays we get a lot of notifications notifications from our whatsapp from our facebook from our insta right like if someone sends you a message if someone sends you a friend request, right? We receive different type of notifications in our mobile phone, right? From different apps also, not only about this app, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, but there are so many applications we have in our phone, right? And from all those applications, we get different type of notifications as a form of advertisement and many other, right? Now we know that is the notification, right? But there are some things that you need to know. For an example, when a notification comes to you, for an example, if someone sends you a friend request, a notification from Facebook comes to you and says that this person has sent you a friend request, right? If you receive a message in WhatsApp, then, then you get the notification, you, you got a message. So now that means whenever an event is occurs, event means when someone is sending you a friend request, that's an event. When someone sending you the message, that's an event. So when the event is occurring, then only we are getting the notifications. So remember that point, right? When an event triggers, then only you get the notifications. Based on this concept inside of service now also, there are so many ways there we can get notifications. So what are this type of notification we have? We have notification like email notification, right? We have SMS notification, meeting invitation notification, right? So these are the three different types of notification we can uh, create or we can get inside of ServiceNow from ServiceNow, right? Now we will see today how we can configure and more about email notifications because SMS and meeting invitation, I won't be able to show you right inside of my ServiceNow instance. But the email one is possible. So I would show you the email one. It is the most important one also. And it is also important for your CSA. That is the Certified Service Administrator Examination. Okay, so make sure you watch this full video to understand this thing. So email notification. So again, this is a, a screenshot from the ServiceNow page. So here you can see this is the type of notification that we are discussing. So in the right hand side, this is written like notification can be triggered by events in the platform and require no scripting knowledge, no scripting knowledge. You don't need any kind of scripting knowledge to perform or to learn about email notifications. So the non programmer who are watching the video, relax, you don't need to worry, right? As I've told you many times to clear the CSA exam, certified service now administrator exam, you don't need to know about any scripting knowledge. If you have some basic knowledge, which is good, but it is not needed. It is not mandatory. Okay, but in future, when we will go further about service now, the development part there, I would discuss about scripting. I will let you know how scripting works and many more things we will deal with, right? But for the time being, you don't need to understand that. So, use notifications to notify users about activities in service now, that is, updates to incident on change request, something like that. So, we would see that what kind of scenario that we can get and how we can configure notification. So, for the time being, just to give you an idea, so I was discussing about the event. So, whenever someone sends you a friend request, so that's an event, and then the notification comes to your phone. So, inside of service now, we can consider like if there is a P1 incident happen, user will get an mail or the assignment group who is going to work on the p1 incident that team's 
that team also receive emails automatic emails like notifications that p1 and incident has been assigned to your queue and user would get the update like you know like you can see in the screenshot that your request was closed hi david this has been marked complete ever and was marked marked complete and was closed you can view request uh, with this button so user can open it and user would be able to see the request request number now few of the no email notifications are already been there out of the box inside of service now okay so this is the example of it so let's move further so now to configure the email notifications there are few things that we need to know that is one is the email layout second one is the email template okay now what are the these two things so first is the layout you can see in the picture it is described again very well this is the again from the picture from service now documents so you can see the layout means this is the area of layout on the top and in the bottom so it's like a, a footer or a header right footer and header like in word document that we have so this is the layout section you can configure it you can create it however we are going to use the default layout which is there because creating layout and creating email template also all these things would be covered in the service now development part where we would learn about email scripting which is also very very important i'll show you uh, some of the example of email scripting uh, inside of my service now developer instance but you need to understand that which part is called layout and which part is called template you can see the template means where the message is sending to the user the button and about the request this part these are all comes under the template and the layout is the top and the bottom section like the header and footer right so first create email layout we can create a new email layout anyway you can try it also uh, also apply layout email template second step third apply template to notification like that means when the notification will go like based on what event right and also to whom the notification will go and finally what it will contain what message the notification will contain that would go to the user or any kind of people okay based on your need so each and everything we are going to configure inside of service now like the step three whatever we mentioned like when the event is going to trigger based on our scenario we would do that second to whom the notification will send that also we would deal with and finally what information the notification will contain or what kind of message okay so i think it's clear before moving into the personal developer instance or our pdi let's see what are the scenario that we have to work today okay all right so the first scenario when a new user will be created in the service now then user will get a welcome message as like hey david if the name of the first name of the user is david your account is successfully created in service now please click here to log in so click here would be a hyperlink where user would be able to click it there and then user would be able to open the it would open the service now login page right so user will receive an email as a notification email type notification that's what we are dealing with and there it would be written like this and when user will get the email whenever that user would be created in service now that means in very simple way in we have to create a user inside of the service now user table once once the user will create user will receive the email notification right so let's go to the service now and let's configure it now before i show you how you can configure the email notification based on the scenario let me quickly show you the layout and uh, the templates quickly that we were discussing in the powerpoint so i will type uh, the layout you can see under system policy email we have the layouts and you know the layout means the header and footer section right so let's open any of the layout so these are the all created already created layout and this is the in the it would load in the html form so where you can create layout also so you can see under the layout section we have the service now logo the header and the footer you can see right this is the message and these are the button unsubscribe button and these are the things uh, which are based on email script uh, which you don't need to understand as of now it here would be the template or the body but main is this part header now i will quickly show you the template i know you are waiting uh, to see the configuration of the email script but let me quickly show you the template also email template under system notification email we have the templates so let's open any template uh, let's see if we have anything for incident yeah we have it for incident incident resolve so probably it would show you the type of uh, template 
whenever the incident is resolved you can see your incident number has been resolved then this is the message now there is a program there is a scripting is also there you can see mail script it is written okay this is the name of the scripting so this is how mail script works actually i told you that i will show you how mail script works now this is the logic is also working now each of these things we will understand again to our developer service now developer part right not here because here i won't be able to explain you all these things this is a csa codes and i promise you there is no coding here right so this is how i want to just show you how the template is being there we are going to use an inbuilt template and layout we would just configure the notification so don't worry about all these things but you understand like what is the difference between email template and the email layout now it's time to work on the scenario so i'll go to the notification under the email we have the notifications so there would be so many different notifications which are already being created. These are all out of the box. You can open this one and you can try to understand how this is working. But for the time being, I'm going to create a new notification. I'm going to click on the new button. So the notification would be like whenever user will be added to the group. So user added to the group. So you can give any name. So the table means user table. That is a sys underscore user. We know that, right? Uh, so we, when we will add anyone in the sys underscore user this table user will get an email so it would be sys underscore user you can see this is a user table fine that is fine now when to send when the trigger will happen whenever there will be either i can choose updated or inserted see here any event is fired you can configure also event uh, so what we want is that record inserted so we want that in our sys user table user table whenever a record will be created right a new user will be created that means inserted whenever a new user will insert in the sys user table then this notification will generate that's it who is going to receive this email right so what we want is that it should be received by the users uh, user should be received by email right so instead of clicking the users because i don't know which user i need to choose for an example here i need to select the email address or the target record of the i mean uh, the email i need to provide the email address here or the direct username but i don't know it's a dynamic right whenever any user will create it the mail will generate so i will go to the field base here so for example i need the email id of the user whoever is getting created that user's email id we need fine let's lock it and then what it will contain what message it would come contain now you can see the template email template is to uh, automatically is there unsubscribe preferences so let it be there doesn't matter so the subject line would be uh, account you are added in service now you are added in service now okay and the message would be hey then i need the first name of the user so we are going to do here we have seen we have seen this thing already before this the dot working process so there is a list of fields this is exactly same like flow designer guys so if you have seen my flow designer video i have done in the same way so if you have missed the video don't worry i have uploaded all the videos in my playlist of service now go there and watch the video of flow designer it is very very important for the exam also so what are the fields available i'm going to open it these are all the fields from the sys user table so i need hey first name of the user so i need the first name you can see first name hi first name so i don't need this writing only first name will work so hey whichever user is creating comma then put a comma your okay so what was the message type hey first name your account is successfully created in service now so your account is successfully created in service now done then please click here to log in please click here remember it would be a hyperlink to log in okay that's fine so now click here i would make a hyperlink here so i can do that by going here insert or edit link okay so the url that i need to do this is my address of my developer instance so i'll copy it 
and then in the slash I will just type login dot do that would open the login page where user can write username and password okay save please click here to login done that's what we want right so let's submit it it is active okay so the notification is activated now so let me create a user so you can see this already the logo is take with free and it is showing dev these are the things we have done in the last video guys so again if you miss the video and you don't know how to change this uh, banner image and this title then please do watch my last video it is very very important now what i want to do is that i'm gonna add a user in this sys user table so sys underscore user dot list i will go here so from here i'm gonna click on new so let's add a user so maybe name it uh, p ganguly first name is pritam last name is ganguly whatever title department it now how to create a user in user table already i have shown you in the user uh, in the user and group uh, video of my channel again if you have any doubt how to create uh, users and also password please do watch my video okay so let me give some random random email pritam dot ganguly at take with pre maybe now you can ask me pritam the email we have configured the email notification right so the user will receive whatever the message we have written in the email in the email only but if the email address is not valid how it would work again it's a demo instance guys so inside of service now we can check that emails that whether that email sent from service now and we can see how it is working okay so now it is done that's it i'm going to click on submit so that means a record should be generated okay now that means that notification will generate also so how we can check whether the notification is there or not we can directly check by going email section system logs and emails let's see you can see there is a message generated at 11 36 40 uh, this is not the isc time zone uh, i think probably it is the uk time zone or whatever the time zone is doesn't matter so what i'm trying to say is that this notification got generated right now and if i open it you can see it is being sent it to pritam ganguly subject is you are added in service now that's how we have created that then recipients who are sending this email it to whom the message is going pritam.ganguly at takewithpri.com and what message it is going we can check that very in a better way this is written on all html format but preview email if i click on that now here you would be able to see the detail hey pritam see it is taken the first name because the username is pritam your account is successfully created in service now please click here to login so let's see if the hyperlink is working see it is asking me for my username and password so this is the page we wanted for the user to log in right so our notification is working successfully so you can see this is the example of notifications based on the scenario we have created that now you can create different type of notification with the help of different tables so that you remember the process and it would be easier for you to work the administrative job in future and also clear your csa exam so this is it for today guys if you have any doubt come to the comment section and ask me question i would love to answer if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video bye bye take care